What have we got? We got still know. got Panda over here on the coffees. Yeah, yeah, he's making coffee. Co he's making big ones too. He's making big ones. That's great. <laughs> I may not sleep until next show. Come on in, Finley. I say we talk some trains. Let's talk trains. Yep. I choo choose to talk trains. What have you got here? Hello. Hey, Finn. Yeah, hello. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, there you are. There you are. Welcome in, Finley. Oh, you hello. got you got stuff. What What have you got there, buddy? How have you been? I've Tell been us about really your well. week. Well, uh, well, Willow's been a bit crook though. Yeah, she? my uh, sister had the had the vid, yep. so I was in South Castle for a week, which is always fun. <laughs> always fun, but she's okay. She's gotten better in the now. Family as well. In the well, family as well. Best Stop. wishes to your mum and to Willow and everybody at home. Mm. Hope they're all okay. Good to have you back in with us. It's good to be back in. Yeah, you had train club last night, didn't you? Yes. And you did a bit of steam. I did some. I ran some steam trains. That is correct. Yeah. I uh, to people who might know, a Midland Railway M7, a Midland Railway 3835, and oh, a one of my favourites. That <laughs> is. I did get that one from here. Did you? Yeah. And we That's did. Talk, we did talk about it on the stream at one point. Probably. Right. And a BR9F. Yeah, we've got that too. Yeah, we? we got you. Got the I've HO one. About, yeah. Yeah. So. I do remember something. <laughs> it is slowly, slowly sinking in. We'll, we'll, take it, we'll make a Fermi out of you yet. I might, have to make a foamy. It might take another 75 years of Hearn's existence, but I might be a foamy yet. What have we got this week, my man? So some I, special stuff? Yeah, so I thought we'll start off oh. with the locomotive. Is that real? Yeah. Well, no, one, will, one will be a dummy. <laughs> yeah, that's the dummy Whoa. car. And one's not so dummy. And, wow. and he's now felt the uh, the power car. The girth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a chunk of monker. That's what BJ would say. <laughs> one of them which camera, about, are, we, which one camera of them, are we on? Well, we're on the front one at the moment. Yep, yep. I'm just focusing here to go on the top yep, one. No, so we're straight into the lens. So what we have right here, this is a British Railways Class 150-1. 150-1. Yes. So these were built between 19... The 150 class, or 150 class, was built between 1984 and 1987 under three generations the 150 150-1 and 150-2 and that was in three years did you say 84 yeah. to 87 yeah so this one the the dash one with the second generation of us uh, they were also known as the sprinters and okay. these were built in 1985 uh, 50 of them were constructed so and they, were just, style, they, they? Were just, yeah. they look like the trains that we catch in melbourne don't they yeah. are they related to the ones that we have here in melbourne or not? there's no little thing in here that i believe that's an antenna Oh, is it? Yeah, for it radio. Like antenna. Yeah, for radio communications. These were built. These were um were created as the second generation of DM of British DMUs. Right. Because they're all the current ones that they had in their stock before they created these. The the, yeah, that's the motor in it. It's got a motor sitting there. Right. It's got the um the first generation were built in the fifties and sixties. And they were really fine, but they had the unfortunate problem of having swinging doors, which were incompatible with modern Britain, and also having a lot of asbestos in them, which isn't great. <laughs> Good for fires, though. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, what's DMU? You said DMU like... Diesel mo multiple unit. So it's a diesel powered. It runs... You can see the exhaust pipe So it doesn't there. use a pentagraph and overhead wires? No, it's diesel. It should... It, no, it's a... D it's not diesel electric like most diesels. It should be, it's, I believe it's diesel mechanical, I believe, or is it diesel? So it's just, so it's just driving wheels along the yeah, rail. I, I believe so, yes. Right. They, um, I believe so. I might be wrong about that. But that's <laughs> okay. We can all learn as we go. Yeah. So these one. I these, put you on the spot there, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, so, so these, so this specific one from Buckerman is a, a, like, say, 21 pin Dakota. And it's right now on quite a bit of a special. Yeah, so these are on a huge special at so the moment. this is DC or DCC? This or is DCC ready? DCC ready with a 21-pin Dakota. Right, right. right. Socket, right. I should say. 21 so just pin plug Dakota it in and you'll be DCC. Yes. And this is on an amazing special at the moment. So you can save a heap on this particular model. Yeah. But it's not just this one. So no. you save a lot on this one. But we've actually across, across the, the whole we've Barkman the price range. Barkman across the That's range. That's right. So it's, it's all lowered in price now. So have a look. Check out Check your Bargman range and you'll find yourself a bargain and how good. And it's, I, I don't know, I get torn. Some things of, of like Hornby I really like and some things of Bargman I really like. I think it all depends on preference. I and do what, like the word Bargman better. <laughs> I think it all depends on preference and what they made. Why like, do you mix and match them? Oh, that's what most people do. Yeah. Oh, horny Bark. That's it. <laughs> 
That's right. <laughs> Dirty old man. <laughs> so these... <laughs> we we'll have to remember the sense of that. Too bad it's live. <laughs> so, so this specific one is in Northern Rail Livery, which is actually a train company that still exists in Britain today. It was formed in nineteen sorry, formed in 2015. So that is a contemporary modern diesel. You can run, that's running at some point in England right now. Is it? Yeah. Probably, probably late. Yeah. 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 And, it's, yeah. <laughs> and it's probably wet because it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> they have a lot. So these were. These are all unfounded. Yeah. <laughs> so these are a very very nice little mo model these ones so it'll come with both the towel the power car and the dummy car so i'm holding the power car now and you might just see through the rear window that That's they have one, one, one weighs about 800 grams and one weighs about 120. That's yeah it. it's a huge power difference they could be wrong That's exhaustive, yeah. <laughs> gangway as well and that is ho scale double o scale right. double slightly scale. different but right in the same track, so it doesn't really matter in the end. And it's got all the incredible floor detail. And unlike a lot of other um, models of DMUs, the floor the floor is actually at a very reasonable height at the model. The floor? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, a lot of things that have the floors basically up to the windows to hide the mechanism. Well, this one is really well done. The floor is at the height of the floor. <laughs> floor level. <laughs> So that means you can have a real gonna, level. I'm yeah. going to look for that from now on. Yeah, so you can have a lot of detail of passengers sitting and even standing. Show me your floor level. What, can you put passengers in there? Oh yeah, you take off the root, you take off the body, and it should give you access to the interior. And you just put all the seats in there. Really? Yeah, and then you put. Yeah, we even sell little figures of people to put in them. I didn't know. Yeah, really. Put a couple of kangaroos and koalas. <laughs> Make it a zoo train. A few bin chickens. <laughs> there you go. Push chuck. That's it. <laughs> Take care of the train. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> oh, that was a heavy one. Is that a heavy one? There you go. I'm not licensed to carry these. <laughs> shouldn't be touching something that I... <laughs> so there's a bit more you got over there. So the other two I thought we'd talk about, since Backman has had a drop of price across the board, mm -hmm. talk about some more Backman. So the two ones we'll have is we have this little guy here. We're on top cam. We can go to the top cam. You ready? Yep. Boom. So the little, this, this guy. These are two little greenhouses. What are they growing in them? Um, fruit. Tomatoes, the red stuff, because possibly tomatoes, and yellow fruit, which I don't think grow on trees that small. <laughs> well, they could be unripened tomatoes. Could oh, be, yeah. Could be, could be lemon. Could, could be, be lemon, could be lime. <laughs> <laughs> very, very poorly deformed carrots. <laughs> they could be round flowers. Oh, yeah, that's true. So these little things come with... Where do you put the greenhouse? Just anywhere on your layout. They're designed to be put in stuff like gardens. So you can and, put a house yeah. and give it a garden. And then give it a garden and put a little greenhouse in it in the oh, backyard. What? And Talk then you can, change, you can change it every day. Oh, I've got to pick the tomatoes now. Yeah. The, the <laughs> well, you tomatoes. them off. And these, this is an incredibly detailed little thing. It's even got a little bit of tools in the back. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh, you can. So it's There's got a little bench. Yeah, got a little bench with tools. And a bit and of dirt. And a bit of piping for, ir for the irrigation system. An incredible little thing. Wow, what are, you, what are you what are you playing around with over there? I'm just breaking into stuff. I wanted to see what this is. This is the next thing I want to talk about. Well, this, this is the house bit, is it? Yes, yeah, this is the house bit. You, you, you have a look at that. I've got this bit. All right. So, yeah. So the greenhouse is a very special little thing. I really wish I had one of these in the cage because that's what I do. Oh, so don't, they have, don't we have that in scale? I think we do. I didn't actually check. <laughs> we need to wait until we get our miniaturization rate. <laughs> so, oh. what I want the now, let's move on to the house. So, this little house is what's known as well, I specifically got this because this is what's known as a low relief building. What does that mean? It Everybody means to pull that out a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, we still there we go. We still on top cam? Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, um, as you can see, the row relief because it's only the front of the building. Where'd the rest of it go? Well, it's in your imagination. These buildings are designed to be put directly on the backboard of your look of your layout. Oh, because it saves room. Yeah. So it's also the idea to give it a bit of three D texture. Some people like to just have a flat image, hmm. but other people don't think that's enough. Some people just get a printout to make a little bit of texture, while mm -hmm. other people will get a full on low relief building so they can put it right on the back scene and then they have something sticking out of the into their layout mm. and it makes it look all the more real 
This is fantastic. This little building is a fantastically uh, detailed as well. And this is by Syncraft. Which is Bachman. Which is Bachman as well. That's probably why I like it so much. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see with all the amazing detail, for instance, there is the roof detail. There are actually holes in them. Yeah. Oh, let me just do the zoom. Image. You can bring that back down. Right. Yep. That's it. Here we go. You can actually see wow. there's actually holes in them. That's how amazingly molded it is. It's all this is 3D detail. It's got the proper gutter, the gutter line wire, uh, wires pipes. It's also got a little out centered window, little door with a little painted mail slap. Mail and slap if you didn't and, like uh, the color of the door, you could always paint it. Oh, you can always paint anything you get with model train. Paint it blue. And you can put the It's already blue. blue. Is it? <laughs> I oh, painted a different You're blue. just not watching, are you? You're just <laughs> clearly well, not watch, you're clearly not well, watching what's going on, mate. Black. Doesn't have lights though, but you could probably put lights in. Yes, it. you could people put lights in them. Sometimes people even make tiny little detailed interiors. Mm. So put like a little cap little carpet and little caption there. And if it's Christmas time, you could put a Christmas tree. Oh, okay. in is the that little window. switch in there or what? What what's that? that? A is, light is, switch. Is that... No, I blue a I think... door handle. No. A window handle. I, I believe that's a curtain wind you think. Yeah. Either that or a molding dip error. No, it's definitely not that. It's definitely like... It's pretty crisp. Yeah, no, I think that is a little bit of detail for uh, that sort of thing. Window latch or something. Exactly, you yeah. You probably have a little cat sitting over here. Yeah. You make some silhouettes with light yeah. behind it, so there's someone inside. Yeah. The options are... Endless. Endless, aren't they? You're only limited by oh. your imagination. That used to be a marketing of some toy company, didn't it? Was it? Probably. I'm sure I don't have Probably someone. <laughs> Low so, relief. What is it? Low Left relief. Hand, bay terrace. Yeah, so this is designed to come in a group. So you have you need to have this one with the blue door. They also make one with a green door. Right. And oh, these, you add them together. Yeah, and also this is some other stuff you can make with it. Right. So for the, if you get a right hand terrace yeah. and a low relief courtyard entrance, yeah. you could make sort of like this like courtyard house looking thing. So like two houses that go up into a little laneway. That's a, that's for your horse when you yeah. When you're riding it. No horsing around. That's it. Thank you very much for joining us this week, Finn. No worries. It's been an absolute pleasure. That's awesome. Um, yeah, That's guys. Nice. I always out, love being on here. Check out the Barkman, <laughs> check out the Barkman range and its new amazing, amazing pricing. It's fantastic. It is. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, fantastic, Finn. Thank well, you for joining you. us. No worries. And we'll see you in a little bit. Yes. Thank, thank you for having me. Bye -bye. Take care.